Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm going to share with you how to make this easy solar fountain bird bath. The birds love it and I'm telling you, out of all the fountains all over I've got on this property, this is now the hummingbird's favorite. Simple to make, anybody can make it, very little tools, probably have everything in your house that you need. All you need is a styrofoam ball, you can get those literally for a couple bucks at any of the craft stores, Walmart, everybody's got them. I used one that was about five inches, and then all you need is a plate. I had this old plate, I built the first one with that, and then I swapped it out and used a 25 cent plate from Walmart, which you probably even have plates in your house, and a bucket, and a solar fountain kit, and you can have this fountain that the birds are so attracted to that they come at night looking to see if it's running. Watch for the surprise ending. It's heartbreaking, but don't worry. I came to the rescue. I was amazed what was gonna happen after I set this up. So with that, I will show you exactly step-by-step step how easy it is to make this. And if you don't like white, because I did paint the white bowls that color, they do make styrofoam in green. So here's the fountain all made up, but let's get into how easy it is to make. All you need is a styrofoam ball and you can get that anywhere. They're so cheap and you can find them in green. And here what I decided to do is paint the white one since the white one was the one I had. I used some permanent acrylic paint. You can only use really acrylic on styrofoam. And I mixed a whole bunch of different colors, some dark red and green and black and brown and yellow. And that was the type of colors I decided to use because what I did was I sponged it on with a sponge brush, not painted everything. I wanted it to be kind of see-through. You could see the white because I wanted it to look like there was moss growing on it. Very natural and it was very quick to do. I literally had the whole thing done in less than five minutes. Once I was done, you can see here, I just went ahead and I let it dry. Now there it was completely dry. You see all the colors? I like that. I want it to look natural, like it's been outside for a while. Now I found a long screwdriver Gary had and I heated it up with a candle. You can heat it up on a cooktop. If you've got a soldering iron or a foam cutter, that will be fine too, or a long nail, hold it with something so you won't burn your hand. But it doesn't take a lot of heat because here I'm going to make the hole in the center of the styrofoam. So you just have to heat it up a little bit. Now once it's hot enough, you'll see how quickly it is. You're gonna to try to make it as straight as possible and go straight down the middle and you don't need a real big hole, just a hole big enough for your tubing. And it literally takes two seconds and it zips right through and the ball is done. That's it. Don't worry if it's a little too big, but you have to make sure your rubber tubing is going to go through. And the rubber tubing I used, I bought online. Usually with mine, they're 5 sixteenths of an inch on the inside measurement. But you can go to any tropical fish store, hardware store, pet store, and buy tubing. It's about usually a dollar a foot. You can use a straw if you've got a straw that's large enough that will fit your solar pump. Now here you can see the tubing slides right through and we are close to being done. Now the solar fountain pumps I use are the kits. They have the wire and the panel and that's the only one you can use for this particular project. Now in order for it to sit flat, we do have to trim the bottom off. So just with a knife, any knife you've got, just carefully trim a small part portion of the bottom off, just a little bit, just enough so the ball will sit flat on your plate that we're going to sit the ball on. Now I used a 25 cent plate I had here. It's just a lunch or dinner plate, thin plastic. Remember the styrofoam is not heavy. You wanna make a hole in the center of the plate that's big enough for your tubing to go through. And then you want the whole bottom of the plate covered in holes. Now I make my holes with a soldering iron. I use my soldering iron for everything. From the bottom of the plate, underneath the plate. And this way the top of the plate will be smooth. That's just the way it works when you're using a soldering iron. If you don't have a soldering iron, you can use a knitting needle and heat it over a cooktop or a candle. I've done that. You can drill it if you want, if you're more comfortable doing that. But I keep a soldering iron on hand and use it for all my floral pots and buckets and totes here. So I always have a soldering iron. You can get them online. I bought them on eBay and they're like three, four dollars for a soldering iron. But you want to make more holes than not enough because you want to make sure the water goes back into the bucket or you'll run out of water. But look, the project is basically done. That's all you need. Your tubing fits and now you're ready to put your fountain together. 
So here you see all the parts. This is the fountain. You won't need all the little parts that go to the kit. You're only going to need your pump and the attachment that goes to your pump. You put the tubing on, you cut it to the size you need. Don't cut it until you're almost done. And then all you have to do is drop it in the bucket. Now I do notch the side of the bucket with my soldering iron so the wire sits inside the bu bucket a little bit, about a half an inch to an inch. This way the plate will sit flat. The plate goes on top. As you can see here, you run your tubing through. Very simple. And there goes the ball and that's it. And then you just pull the tubing down and now it's just a matter of setting it up for the birds. I keep the solar panel down so it's not pumping in the sun as I'm getting ready to put my water in. Just turn it upside down. And now you just fill the bucket with water. That's all there is to it. Fresh water. Make sure your bucket was clean before you started. I always wash everything. Just fill it to the top with water. Then you put the ball back on top with the tubing as I've done here and you are done. And the tubing holds the ball. I haven't had it blow off yet. And as fast as I'm setting it up, the birds are coming to it. They absolutely love it. The reason the hummingbirds love this so much is because of the formation and the way the ball is made. They can grip onto that. They have the tiniest little nails, hummingbirds, and they just found out that it was something they could just cling to on the side. And that is the reason they absolutely love this fun fountain and if you don't like the look of the bucket you can always sit the bucket inside a basket a big flower pot or anything that you desire I've had the Orioles all over jumping inside to get water the hummingbirds haven't stopped they don't care if it's a bucket or a basket or whatever it's so whatever way that you're gonna like and what's gonna work for you I actually like the green bucket. I think it looks really pretty. So, but with this, anybody can make it. I hope I've given you some great ideas. Go make it. And the hummingbirds in your area are gonna love you. And so will the other birds too. And it's so portable. Have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. So here's something I had to add on to the ending that I was not planning on doing. They are so crazy about the ball that they bathe on this all day. All the adults come, the babies come, and the sun was going down. And of course, the solar fountain only works when the sun is out, but the sun had already dropped in the sky. And as you could see, this broke my heart. They were coming and looking and poking at the tube that was in the ball. It's like, where is the water? Where is the water? I stood there watching in the house thinking I can't do this to them I didn't know what to do the Sun was going to be completely down probably within an hour or so so you know I made a video a while back about those battery operated little pumps that you use a power bank on like you would use for charging your phone while the same exact one it was under two dollars look at this that's all there is to it now there's nothing I have this thing I picked up from Fry's last Christmas Black Friday for like two dollars is twelve thousand yes that's what you need if you've got a cell phone you probably have one of these around so i went and dug it up because i haven't been using it lately got it together for them and they stood out there watching me take it apart and put on the new one and they waited and the moment the very moment I put it back, I step back in the house. You'll see it running with the power bank here. And they'll run for hours. Sometimes they'll run for quite a few days. You just shut it off when you're not using it and it will go for a long time. But sure enough, the second they saw the water was running, they were so excited before the sun went completely down. They came back and they were just all fighting to take a bath. In case you're in an area where you don't have a lot of sun, you can use one of those two. So again, with that, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.